I guess we start. I welcome you to the session Status Media Manager. Uh, my name is Alan Moritz. I'm doing Joomla extensions since 2007. I'm the team lead of the new Media Manager project. Uh, to the agenda for today, I will talk a bit about the history. Uh, the Media Manager has a long history to rebuild it. Uh, then quickly um, show the team members then some background information about the roadmap, where we can find the source, where we are working on. Then um, digging a little bit into the architecture, making a demo, and at the end a request to how people get involved into the media manager. Like the media manager as we have now is probably more or less has the same interface or the same code since Joomla 1.5. Um, the interface of course get adapted to the Joomla early releases but the technology and everything is still get stuck since Joomla 1.5. There were some different approaches, different teams were built to work on it. Um, the current team we have now started in December in, in a code sprint in Vienna. We decided there to start on a clean base for it, not to just improve the existing one, but um, using more modern technologies than it has now. So according to that decisions, there were like people joining the team who, how to say, who like to play around with new technologies. It's uh, David Neukirchen, he's basically building the list view with, based on you. I will tell about that more than when, um, when I come to the architecture. It's uh, Dimitris, um, who is the JavaScript guru in the Joomla community. And then it's Kazun, who recently joined the team. He's um, our GSOC student and he's working on a cloud file system integration. So basically we will be then able to not only include media, media data from, um, from the local file system, but also from Google Drive, Dropbox or whatever. That will be then based on plugins. And Eve, who is a good soul in our project. <laughs> And um, we have the UX team on board. It's uh, Britta and Tom and Kiaran, who joined recently the team who, may, who is brushing up the, the views and doing some, some front-end styling um, tasks. The code repository can be found on GitHub. We have our own project in Joomla projects. There you can see the status. I do a presentation about it. It's really the, the latest code from it. We have a team on the volunteers portal where we publish regularly reports. Um, the project itself is at the moment under development, so things are not completed yet. We are basically at the, the current status is that we, um, we did the groundwork, the basic works for the, for the main features of the milestone one. Um, the whole thing is based on Joomla 4, so it will be a new feature of Joomla 4. And yeah, for sure, pull, pull requests are always welcome. The roadmap can also be found on the wiki on that project. As I said, currently we are finalizing Milestone 1. Uh, the Milestone 1 contains the feature that we brush up the list view. It's basically that's what the big rewrite is. Then we add functionality to edit images, like to crop, rotate, and resize. It comes with drag and drop upload. If we have time, I would also like to see um, copy paste. And the media form field will have then 
all these features with the main media manager. So you can, when you're in an article and you select an image, you can directly upload their image, you can resize it, crop it, or whatever media action plugin you have installed. So that should be then directly possible from there. Um, as I said, at the moment the basic is done, so we, we are going into a bug fixing phase where we improve stuff, we stabilize, stabilize stuff, but new features will not be added at the moment. Um, only if there some volunteer says, I really want to have that in Milestone 1, then for sure. But the team itself is, we are stabilizing it. And also after chat, we start to plan Milestone 2. Um, that's then we will get some feedback from people from after the talk when you have questions or feedback or also from community like to see in which direction the media manager should go there are different people actually from the past with different um, opinions where it should go and we the team itself would like to have kind of feedback then if that's something where we really the media manager should go or yeah, if we did miss something over there. The architecture itself is um, the front end is really only JavaScript based. So it's not anymore when you click on a, on a, on a folder in the sidebar, it loads the whole page. It's really just interacts with the backend only with JavaScript. Uh, the backend itself serves the data as JSON data, it's a kind of a API when the web services project will be then, or when web services will be integrated into Joomla Core, then we'll definitely move to that, pro to that project. At the moment, it's really just controller who returns um, JSON data. Um, the whole editing functionality is done in plugins. So in the future, extension developers will be able to offer their own image editing plugins. There is then a next step, probably in Milestone 2, where we add support for more um, media types, for example, PDFs or videos or whatever. And the styling of all of that is done through SAS. And also the media manager itself, the view development, that's, that's part of, com like they call that components. And all of that will be compiled then in a JavaScript file, and that JavaScript file will be then always loaded. So it's not, not some kind of, of JavaScript on runtime evaluation over there. It's really like a small compact file which will be loaded, and all the, all the different templating will be done in that. Here you see a picture from us <laughs> on the code sprint, it's not, we were not really working on the media manager, but it was, I thought, it was a good idea. I need to apologize a bit because um, screen re resolution is very small, but yeah, I guess it will work. I guess, every, can everybody more or less see what's here on the screen? <coughs> So the layout itself is more or less similar to the existing media manager. However, when, when you're here browsing through the folders, it will reload then here directly on the page. You see there is no page load done. It's, um, yeah, it's relatively fast. You see here also for the, when you select an image, you see here the details. We'll probably add then another view that's here called the grid view. We'll add then another view, which is showing the images on a list. If, if you have a lot of data and you need to browse through it or directly see more attributes, then that will serve your needs. Um, we can directly create from here folders. The folder is, is then immediately there. The tree is updated and everything. Um, we can also delete files if we want, or inline deleting them. Uh, we can upload files, see it here, or we can 
drag and drop them. And then directly the file is uploaded. Um, editing can be done through, through the edit button. And then you will see that here, for example, crop plugin. The core itself will come with crop, resize and rotate these three plugins out of the box. We can uh, here as you do, as you get used to in an image editing program, it's a uh, it's a more or less similar functionality. All of that is done on the front end. It's JavaScript based. There's no interaction with the back end, with the back end. Only when I save it, then it will be sent back to the back end and stored as a new file. We can reset it, yeah, basic functionality. I hope that in the future then that there will be really powerful plugins coming out there to really make the life of, life of, a, of a system administrator easier. We can then save and close that. And then you see it, you'll see it that the file is different, is cropped. Um, there's multi-select. Can read of them. This is a bad idea. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the whole thing is integrated into the content, into the content manager. When you edit or create a new article, you can here select one and then you have the whole media manager. We're still will brush and up that a bit that it's probably not so cluttered like it is on the on the main one, on the back end. But basically we'll have from here then the same functionality to drag and drop, upload the files, edit the files inline. As many people requested it. Some questions? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you delete stuff, uh, do you have a trash bin for that? Can you restore if you accidentally delete? Um, yeah, not yet. There's <laughs> <laughs> um, one in the corner. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's but is it planned for, for the first release? Um, at the moment, we don't have an issue open for that, so nobody requested that. Um, yeah, we yeah. have open an issue and we'll see what can be done or perhaps somebody's own team. Will do the for the next um, yeah, it was um, here on the code repository, yeah, forgot that to say. We have there also the issue list. At the moment there are mostly bugs in there, but, but there we also can request for new features. Good, then, uh, yeah? So is this, is this being planned or done as a horizontal extension where third party extensions can use the media manager to uh, upload their own files? Media, yeah. So, for yeah. example, uh, uh, Zoom Social has its own uh, algorithm for so, uh, if they were to use this to replace their own uh, media management system. So, uh, how far from that can you get another Yeah, at the moment we have a media form field. Um, I don't know, Dimitri, can you say a couple words about how do you think the integration can happen? Because, I don't know, will we ever integrate that into the media manager, uh, into TinyMC? Yes, probably TinyMC might Editing, so we don't have to work on some of the things, but that's not for much. No, that's really not. It all, it all. Does this use a table or it's still completely by this? Like, 
So is there a media table that we have, or is it uh, in the database table, or is it uh, based on files like the right now? No, it's really based on files. It's no no databases involved at the moment. So it's more for UI. Uh, in yeah. Question was if it's use uh, it's usable on a tablet or a mobile phone. Yeah. Question is is the backend usable on a tablet or mobile phone? No. Yeah, the same way as it now is it is as it is now like through the media form field. But um, it's not planned to make something like a kind of gallery or something like that for the front end because that's job of extensions and in my opinion not the media manager. So it's going to cut some kind of support for mobile devices. It's going to cut. What? It is going to cut some kind of support for mobile devices. You mean in screen size? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are definitely, we didn't address that feature yet, but we are definitely want to go into that direction. But it all comes hand in hand also with the backend in general, what for possibilities we will have there. But yeah. The ones which, except the ones which I showed. No, so is it possible that each user has its own folder that nobody else can select from? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, <laughs> I made in, I added that feature in custom fields, and it basically it confused more people. Some people were even talking about that it's a security hole, because at the moment everything is file system based. So you kind of need to protect that then through HD access or whatever. And yeah, I guess when some people have the vision that the media manager should go into kind of document management system with database, which you can do ACL and access levels and everything on that. And yeah, then it's definitely possible to do something like this, the home or the user feature where it's only like every user has its own directory. But if the current setup, it's just like would be then a kind of a UI hack, but it's not secure because it's everything is file system based. Yes? When you edit the image, when you have the FFM, you save some video, right? You upload a large file, maybe my file, and say 3,000, and they reduce the size. Will that reduce the cross quantity? Overall file size. Several files together. No, just one. If you have one image, one, and you're introducing the size, mm. and reduce the file size. Mm. Yeah. Sure. Dimitris? So, what is happening? We're talking about the crop, right? Yeah. No, not, not necessarily crop, just reducing the size of the file. Say somebody uploads a 3000 by 2000 file. Automatically. Yeah. You know, they, they, the client uploads it and then they resize the size right. of it. So, mm -hmm. this. This can be done right now from, from any like There are a lot of like I don't know if we want to start with this. I normally edit it before I upload it, but I think it's sometimes. I have some load of huge files and go, oh, the page is running a bit slow. Depends. So, what am I doing personally? If I'm uploading it's the biggest image possible, and then I have a plugin that I do source it. So I do many, uh, many copies of the image in different elements, and the source is uh, an attribute on the image stack. It's the image stack, and that is handled then uh, natively by the browser. So. You have also SEO, better SEO, and uh, most of the time, smaller uh, page size. Because you're downloading the, uh, the most deep image for the device that uh, somebody is using to see the works. 
as it's already possible to write a kind of a rewrite plugin. There are plugin events, and so that every image that you can write then in the plugin, that every image will not be bigger than 1,200 pixel wide or something like that. That should be already possible. Um, there are no more questions. I would make a kind of request. Um, we have a lot of open issues. We are always, um, let's say, guys always welcome people who want to help with coding skills, especially in JavaScript. Quick, pick an issue, create a pull request, and we'll get that thing done. Question was done. I will upload later than the slides um, on my website, job 17. And yeah, I'm around here, um, always open for feedback. Ask Dimitris, Kiaran, Yves if you want to know something. We are here to help. And yeah, I wish you, thank you for the, for the presentation, for the interest, and wish you a, a nice conference.